Hey everybody, it's your boy Josh, aka Fiddle Optimus, back with another gameplay commentary for you guys. This is a uh, league match um, on Express. It's an S&D match, obviously, in case you haven't noticed already. Anywho, um, the reason why I wanted to upload this was for a couple reasons. Number one, I did pretty good. Um, I choked a couple of, um, of uh, you know, clutches, I guess, 1v1s. Or not 1v1s, 1v2s, 1v1, I think it was, ended up clutching. Or, I'm sorry, um, choking. Um, the first one is actually in the beginning of this, or I'm sorry, not the beginning of this round, but at the beginning of this video. It's this round particularly. The and the guy that amazed. kills me, he kills me, and as soon as he kills me, he talk, He started it's talking trash to me. And I don't know why, but it just really, really uh, bugged the shit out of me. So, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't necessarily try harder. But I did kind of communicate with my team a little more, and and yeah, you know, I just play smarter. Basically, is what I did. You know, S and D is Charges you have to have fire. some intelligence to play S and D. Um, but anyways, guys, so I know it's been about a week and a half or so. I think the last video I put out was my optic, you know, whatever one that I completely fucked up the audio, and I didn't realize it until after I had already uploaded it. Um, so I'm I'm really sorry about that. Uh, and I wasn't really talking about anything particular. I was really just talking about the gameplay. And, uh, yeah. But, anyways. Um, this has been a few things going on with me. Uh, firstly, uh, unfortunately, I had to leave California and come back to Japan uh, for a couple of reasons. One, um, because I'm in the military. The military um, is always going to take precedence over everything else. The military is your life. So, you know, it, there's just times when it's going to, you know, just take precedence. Um... So Good this job. is one of those instances where round. it happened, and I'm back here. I'm actually going to be leaving really soon, um, and I'm going to be going to the land down under. Um, so I won't be having any videos out, but I do have a lot of content to put out. So I mean, I'll be on Twitter still. I'll, you know, you can still follow me and talk to me on Twitter. Um, I'll be on Twitter probably every day, so you know, I'll be more than happy to talk with you guys and and whatnot. Uh, as soon as I get back, I'll, you know, obviously get more into the game. By the time I actually do get back, I'll probably have a little baby boy. So I may not be um, playing as much, but I still have a lot of videos to put out. Um, just because I have, I have probably right now maybe 25 gigs worth of video um, to still do, you know, commentaries over. Uh, just because of my schedule and whatnot, I guess pretty difficult to do that sometimes. Um, so what else? So I got to Japan, or I got back to Japan on the 5th? No, the 6th of, yeah, the 6th. Um, you know, it was a really long flight. I had a layover in Hawaii for a couple hours, and I don't know what I ate in Hawaii, but it got me pretty damn sick. Um, so I freaking got sick on the flight uh, from Hawaii to Japan, threw up, had a massive headache. Um, funny, because I actually put up a video, I'm sorry, not a video, a picture on Twitter, of how empty my flight was, and it kind of pissed me Good off job. because get I had asked the, the people, like, hey, can I, you know, get up to the first class? It was maybe like five or six first class seats. And uh, normally for military, you know, they do help you guys out or help us out and, you know, hook us up sometimes. Um, my first flight, actually, I got upgraded for free, which I thought was great. Um, you know, I, was, I had stayed up pretty late, and I was trying to, you know, get my schedule back to, to Japan time because it was going to be really hard to work and, and do that stuff at the same time. But, uh, yeah, I didn't get a, anything special or anything. Uh, there was nobody on my flight, so I tried to lay down on the seats. And because I'm a pretty big guy, I'm about 6'1", 2. Last time I weighed, I was 260. Um, you know, I lift pretty heavy. You know, I'm a power lifter. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, it was pretty hard to try and sleep on a damn uh, airplane train. Or, I'm sorry, airplane seat. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, that it is what it is. It happens. So uh, I got back to Japan, you know, went to work. I'm um, here at my house uh, alone, and if any of you are dating anybody or Good job. Get ready you know, married, it gets, uh, it's pretty tough to be away from your family and your wife. Um, it's extremely difficult. Uh, yeah. So, 
another thing that's going on e3 was this morning or it was this morning for me but it was i want to say 1 p.m for california time and four in the afternoon east coast time i'm not 100 percent sure um i was actually on my way to work when e3 was going on so i didn't get to really watch it i did watch the uh, gameplay for um for the call of duty and it looked pretty cool i'm from san diego so you know they had some san diego finish the mission uh, you're all that remains not video but san diego fucking i guess game not games god damn it fucking i don't even remember what i'm trying to say but uh one of the missions was san diego that's what i'm trying to say jesus that fucking was difficult <laughs> but uh the game looked pretty cool I'm, i was kind of weird how like they you know mess with the dog i guess not mess with the dog but you control the dog it was kind of weird but it, i mean it was cool nonetheless um what else happened recently uh, optic uh they have their own little gaming house now that they're all going to optic scumpy he graduated from high school so yeah uh, also i uh, found out that evil team evil uh they were disqualified for uh for their mlg qualifier whatever they were doing um, because of some, you know, how game battles is ran, basically, they fucking, Friendly RCXD inbound. <clears throat> they have it to where, uh, if your account gets hacked, everything associated with that account is pretty much locked. So, they, I guess, one of the guys on, uh, Team Evil, they use a new account with, you know, their, their username, or their, not their username, their gamer tag, and, because their account had been banned previously, they had somehow done like a joint account thing or some shit like that. And basically, when even though they won, they were disqualified. And they were going to give the win to another team, but the other team, you know, didn't want it. They, were, they thought that rule was bullshit and they wanted to basically uh, get it the right way and win it. Um, so that, you know, that's just the way the tide rolls. Fucking, gun ready for deployment. Not MLG. But uh, game battles to me is a waste of time. It's good to get into, but the, the problem with it is that people seem to be very immature in the game battle scene, and I just don't really like it too much. I mean, it is gaming, and you, you know, it's come to you got to expect it, but at the same time, you got to realize that these people are you know, all others are dead. It's up to you. What, 18 years old or something? Or I'm sorry, they're, the game is meant to be played by 18 and over, and uh, it's just kind of annoying when you get a last kid. That's playing. Oh, and sorry about this. I was recording on my game, and it was a long video, and my fucking thing started going off. But anyway, uh, right here, this guy I'm actually about to kill. He was the guy that originally started talking shit to me. Um, so I thought it was kind of ironic. I ended up sending him a message like, "Look, dude, next time you're gonna talk shit, make sure it's the end of the game, vice at the beginning. See if you look at the bottom. There he goes. He left. And uh, yeah, so I'll be coming out with another video later. Um, in this match, I ended up going 12 and two. Mm, that's pr oh shit 14 and 2 anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, give a like a follow and i'll see you guys later peace out